Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma bada habita fillah. The third type of patience is a sabr ala masaib. Is the patience regarding being patient when a trial befalls you. وَهِيَا الَّتِي تُسِيبَ الْإِنسَانِ بِقَضَاءِ اللَّهِ وَقَدْرِهِ فِيَا صَابَتْهُ فَإِنَّ الْوَاجِبَ إِنَّ وَاجِبَهُ أَنْ يَصْبِرْ عَلَيْهَا فِيَا صَبَرْ عَلَيْهَا فَإِنَّهُ يُعُدُّ مِنْ الصَّابِرِينَ So it was mentioned that the patience during the trials or tribulations that this is when a person is afflicted by something from the decree and will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that when this happens, it is an obligation upon the person to be patient uh, and be patient with this trial or this test. And if he or she is patient during this trial or this test, يُعُدَّ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ Then they have become one of the patient ones. And we ask that Allah Azza wa Jal makes us from the sabirin. وَتَعْرِيفَ الصَّبْرِ فِي اللُّغَةِ So patience as a linguistic term is الْحَبْسِ وَمِنْهُ قَوْلُهُمْ so patience as a linguistic term, meaning in the Arabic language, and so many things in the shara, that they have a linguistic meaning, and then they have a sharia, sharia-based meaning. And it's very important. This is something that the talib al-ilm for sure needs to know. And it's important for you and I as well to know and understand this so that we, we don't get the terms mixed up. And that's what we have from many of the people of desires and the ignorant ones is that they mix these terminologies up. So they say, no, it means this, when in fact, as a Sharia-based term, it has a totally different meaning or a more uh, encompassing meaning or a more restricted meaning. So here in this, uh, when it refers to sabr as a linguistic term, patience as a linguistic term, it means al-habs, meaning to restrict something. So this is what sabr means as a linguistic term. And as an example in the Arabic language is when they say, qatala fulan, uh, qatala fulan sabrin, that so-and-so uh, was killed uh, and they were chained, meaning that they were held in captivity and they were killed. Okay, so this is what it means, habs. It means to restrain or to uh, restrict. Uh, also, they refer to uh, when someone goes to jail, habs, hubisa, that this person was is chained or they're in jail, they're imprisoned. And also, فَتَمَسِّكْ بِهِ إِلَّا أَنْ يَمُوتُ That means this person was restrained until they died. This is what it means as a linguistic term. And so now we can kind of get an idea. In Ibn Hajar, he mentions about this term that uh, in his book, Fat al-Bari, the explanation of Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, he mentions uh, the one who was Masbura, that they uh, is the one who is held in captivity and then they they are uh uh you know maybe stoned until they die and sabr as a sharia based term when referring to the uh, the trials and uh, uh, afflictions that befall us. It refers to habs nafs anjaza 
وحبس اللسان أن تشت أن تشتكي وتسخط وحبس الجوارح أن اللطم الخضود والشق الجيوب والدعوها جاهلية. This is very beautiful and an expansive term so that way we get a good to or a good uh, understanding of what it means to be patient. So patience as a Sharia based term is to restrain oneself from worry. That's inclusive of, of patience. And that, so that shows us that we need to strive our best and those who are blessed with that higher level of Iman, that they're not the ones stressing so much and getting worried because they know because everything is with the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's all in the hands of Allah wa ta'ala. They leave their affairs with Allah azza wa jal. And we ask Allah azza wa jal to let, bless you and I to be uh, following that example and for us to have that kind of iman. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. So part of sabr is to restrain oneself with this jaza, with this, uh, with, from worry. And controlling oneself or restraining oneself with regards to complaining and with regards to being discontent. That's beautiful right there. That shows us how expansive uh, of a term uh, a sabr is. You know, restraining yourself from worry, restraining yourself from articulating on your tongue by complaining. How many of us complain? We believe we're being patient, but we're still complaining. My job is this. Uh, my paycheck is like this. Uh, such and such happened to me. Oh, but I'm being patient. But in fact, you may not be actually actualizing patience because you're complaining. And when I read this definition, I reflect on myself and I realize I have probably no patience. Wallahu musta'an. And discontent. Being discontent, being restraining yourself from being discontent. Oh, I'm sick like this. Such and such, or so and so, such and such happened to me. My beloved died. I lost this. So the one who's patient, they refrain on their tongue likewise. So patience is not just uh, being patient as far as the worry and refraining from being worried, but likewise patience is when a person refrains on their tongue. Because when we complain, where is it? You're complaining. Predominantly, it takes place on your tongue. It means you are on your tongue. You're complaining about something that happened to you. And when you're showing discontent, primarily, it is discontent that you're articulating on your tongue through speech. So it's very important to try to control your speech likewise when you're patient and not to complain. And then uh, another part of that patience during trials and tribulations is habas al jawarih is controlling your limbs, your actions by not being, uh, you know, as far as a physical sense of tearing at your clothes, pulling at your hair, and just acting and behaving in ways that show discontent, show a lack of patience, and exhibit the traits of the people of Jahiliya, the people prior to Islam, especially the Arabs in their Jahiliya and how they behaved. So it's an obligation for wajib al-insan عندما تحدث له مصيبة أن يصبر نفسه ويمنعها So it's an obligation upon a person that when a trial befalls them or befalls him or her that they uh, are patient and they pr control and prohibit themselves from showing discontent and being and complaining and uh, all of those harmful characteristics.
And the Sheikh mentioned a short piece of poetry which articulates this, this patience during the trials that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you with. وَإِذَا أَتَتْكَ مُصِيبَةٍ فَأَصْبِرْ لَهَا صَبْرَ الْكَرِيمِ فَإِنَّهُ بِكَ أَرْحَمُ وَإِذَا شَكَوْتْ إِلَى إِبْنَ آدَمْ إِنَّمَا تَشْكُ رَحِيمٌ الرَّحِيمِ إلَى الَّذِي لَا يَرْحَمُ which means that if a trial befalls you, then be patient with it. And sabr, patience is kareem. Patience is, is, is generosity. It, it is generous. Uh, it is, it is uh, you know, it's beautiful. Uh, so then therefore, it is upon you to be merciful. You know, to be patient, to exhibit this trait. Arhamu. And if you complained to the children of Adam, then verily, you have, it is if you have complained about Ar-Rahim, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the one la yarhamu, the one who doesn't have mercy. Meaning you've, when you complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, complain about patience, uh, you know, showing a lack of patience. It is, it is as if you are complaining about Ar-Rahim, ar meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who's the most merciful, the most beneficent. You're complaining about him to the one, which is his creation, la yarhamu, that doesn't have mercy. Because people, when they're angry with you, they don't have any patience with you. They don't have any mercy for you. They will treat you in the worst of affair and they could have been to your beloved brother or your beloved sister just yesterday. Look at how the people abandoned their scholars, abandoned their ones who were their companions because now they believe they're a person of desires or they're a person of bid'ah or they're a person of this or a person of that. La yarhamu. They have no mercy. But if you would have complained to Allah Azza wa Jal, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Instead of complaining about him, in a sense, then this would have been the uh, exhibiting patience. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us with patience during his trials and his tests. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not test us with that which we, have, we don't have the ability and strength to handle. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.